Hi, I am Jo from Jo's Paradise of Colour. In tonight's video, it's going to be a little bit different. I'm using my new tripod. My tripod comes directly over my work. Um, so I hope you enjoy this one. I'm going to be making some art yarn. This is the fibre I have chosen. It is Merino Silk. It's a 70-30 blend. It is so beautiful and so very soft. I have also decided to use a mint two-ply constructed silk yarn. I'm going to be using this as the auto wrap so this part I need to unwrap it pull it all apart or unplat it so with an art yarn like this you want a fiber that is pretty um, with a lot of volume so you can form these thicker bits and get a nice puff at the end of it so i'm going to split them in this thickness all the way from top to bottom and continue until all of it is stripped to that thickness have two ends right you have one that's pretty nice and clean and drafts nice and you run your hand down and you find that all the strands are, are running pretty smoothly down the direction that you're going to be spinning the other end is a bit more thicker um and normally cut off at the end so that will be your end piece you don't start with that side so i'm going to draft slightly okay that's where you're going to be tying it on to your lead
So you've seen what I just did. I put the auto wrap in between the fibre and wrap the fibre around that for about 10 centimetres. Then you put the auto wrap above and raise your hand so the yarn is above the orifice. So this auto wrap will run down to the orifice and stay there. Like so. I'm going to do medium long skinny bits and then fat bits. That way I can get a yarn that has more meters for the buyer to play with. That way they can either use it in crochet, they could use it in weaving and they can knit something with it. The trick is to have it spinning at a fast pace so you can get a nice twist you can form the fat bits and they won't fall apart especially when you go to ply them you don't want your fat bits unraveling and breaking you need that little extra twist okay so if you're new to making thick and thin what you want to do is okay normally on a normal spinning wheel i will stop spinning with uh, stop pedaling when i make the thick bits but that's only because I can control the tension and I know that if I do continue to, to use the pedal when making the thick bits, it's going to over twist and we don't want that. But with the electric wheel, the it's harder to control how hard it pulls, how fast it spins, um, it is a bit easier to, um, to know that you're not going to get an over twist though if you have it set to a specific setting. Um, it's also harder to tell if it's going to fall apart on you on a on the plying part if you do stop make the make the fat bits then continue you want to keep all that twist in so i just continue to spin um with the speed making the entire yarn on an electric wheel but if you're going to use one like this which is the super jumbo um, I recommend putting it on the smallest tension band um, for the single and then putting up to the medium which is the, the middle um, tension band for new people what you want to do is pinch the top of your puff and then pull towards you till you find the weakest section it starts getting a bit weak hold on to that let go of the top and run your hand down and you formed a puff and you continue till you have no more fiber left you can choose to 
make mini puffs with a tiny little section of thin bit in between and that's your traditional um, double pie slab or thick and thin
Okay, to finish, when you're ready to finish it, you run this down to your fingers, you snip it off, and you tie a knot, and that's it. And then you ball it up, um, or you skein it up. It depends on if you're going to um, ply it afterwards or make it into a single ply. So I finished the first little ball with the mint silk yarn. I'm not really sure if I like it because of the thickness um, of the auto wrap, but I thought I will do a super coil with this one or I will ply it. Um, and then judge it after it's finished but for the rest of it I already started but I am using a slub with really long um, thin sections auto wrapping it with the chicken silk that I just showed you um, it's a lot finer um, thread to the other one it is the same color as the turquoise in this fiber um, so I think the contrasting will be is turning out pretty nice gives a little shimmer 